Bakit nga ba kapag naglalagay ka ng kalboro sa saging, nahihinog agad? At bakit kapag naglalagay ka ng yeast sa suka, umaasim agad? Well, kung gusto mong malaman, panoorin mo ang video nito. Welcome to Surfax Learning Channel. For today's video, pag-aralan po natin ang patungkol po sa catalyst. Ano nga ba ang catalyst? Ang catalyst daw ay parang isang ano, parang isang magkaibigan for so long. So may isang kwento, itong dalawang magkaibigan ay magkasama na sila simula Simula pa nung elementary, hanggang high school, hanggang sa nag-college na sila. At nung graduate na sila, syempre nagkaroon na ng trabaho. And even though they are, most of the time they are together, eh, well, hindi naman sila on, sila magka-relationship. So yung kanilang mag mga kaibigan ay gumawa ng hakbang. Inaya nila itong magkaibigan na manood ng concert. So, nung nanood sila ng concert, pinagtabi nila yung dalawa. From then on, ay narealize ng dalawa na pwede pala silang magligawan. Nagkaroon niya sila ng pagkakataon na magligawan hanggang sa naging sila na later. Okay? Parang catalyst. Yung dalawang kaibigan doon, who pushes the two friends are the catalyst. Okay? Panuorin po natin ang kabuan ng video. Our learning target for this concept is to describe the concept of catalyst, present catalyst as an effective means of affecting the reaction rate, and realize the importance of catalyst and how it affects to your life. Now, what is catalyst? Or catalysis. Catalysis is the increase in the rate of chemical reaction due to the participation of an additional substance which is called catalyst. With catalyst, reactions occur faster and with less energy. In other words, itong catalyst is an agent para maging mabilis yung reaction process. Kaya nga, itong catalyst, ito yung mga substance which when added to a reaction, increases the rate of reaction by providing an alternate reaction pathway with a lower activation energy. They, they do this by promoting proper orientation between reacting particles. Okay? Dahil ang catalyst nag speed up ng rate of reaction by lowering the activation energy, ang tendency na go-over siya ng alternate pathway of reaction. Katulad po ng ipinakikita dyan sa picture illustration. You will notice there the green pathways, the reaction rate pathway. However, when catalyst is added, you will see there na nag-offer ng alternate pathway, which is the red line. Ngayon, ano yung effect ng catalyst on the reaction rate? So, during the collision, Ang tendency kasi kapag nagkakaroon ng collision, hindi naman lahat nagko-collide. Yung iba nagba-bounce apart. So, kailangan niya uli ng panibagong activation energy para magkaroon ng reaction rate. Ito na ngayon, dito na ngayon papasok si catalyst. Si catalyst ang nagiging 
epekto niya kapag idinadagdag siya as an agent sa isang proseso, ang tendency niya ay na-speed up niya yung reaction rate. Though, yun niya nagkakaroon ng panibagong pathway, pero mas mabilis yung kanyang reaction rate. Yun yung nagiging effect. Katulad dyan sa ipinapakita nung graph on the screen. Halimbawa, dito sa ating table, meron po tayong dalawang part dyan, reaction and the catalyst. Yung reaction is the decomposi decomposition of hydrogen and peroxide. Ang kanyang catalyst is manganese. Yung Nitration of benzene, yung kanyang catalyst is concentrated sulfuric acid. Yung manufacture of ammonia by the Haber process, ang kanyang catalyst is iron para mapabilis yung proseso. And the conversion of sulfate during the contact of process to make sulfur acid, ang kanyang catalyst is vanadium. Dahil sa catalyst na ito, napapabilis yung proseso, proseso ng reaction rate of these substances. Meron types of catalyst or catalysis. The homogeneous catalysis, which is the catalyst and reaction area in the same phase, usually liquid. The heterogeneous catalysis and the enzymatic Catalysis. Homogeneous ang catalysis kapag kayong reactants and the catalyst are in the same phase. For example, liquid or gas. Heterogeneous catalysis naman kapag ka yung reactants at yung catalyst are in different phases. So, nagiging heterogeneous catalysis naman siya kapag ka ganun. Samantala, sa plants and animals, enzymatic naman yung tawag sa catalysis dahil sa numerous reactions ang nabubuo, nag occur ay ang tawag sa kanya is enzymatic catalysis. Ito po yung ilan sa mga characteristics of enzyme catalysis. Most high efficient or one molecule of an enzyme may transform or one million molecules of the reactant per minute. Highly specific nature, its enzyme is specific for a given reaction. Example, the enzyme uh, urea's cat catalysis, the hydrolysis of urea only, and highly active, uh, active under optimum temperature, and highly active under optimum pH. So, yan, yan po yung characteristics ng enzymatic catalysis. Ngayon, ano po yung application ng catalysis? Catalysis, pwede po siya sa environment, kung saan, catalysis impact the environment by increasing the efficiency of industrial processes, but catalysis also plays a direct role in the environment. Catalysis also helps our environment by avoiding chemical toxic or chemical waste, so it controls pollution in our environment. Nagagamit rin ang catalysis as converters to reduce the emission of harmful gases sa mga vehicles. This can also be used as ozone gas depletion by the chlorine-free radicals in the breakdown of ozone. Catalyst or catalysis can also be used in the chemical industry by refining the chemicals. Siyempre, to reduce pollutions. 
to reduce uh, harmful gases in our environment. Pwede rin siyang magamit sa energy processing by refining energy sources such as listed below and also can be used in the food processing. Okay, ganun pala ang catalyst. It is something that trigger matters para mapabilis ang isang proseso. Okay? So, ganun lang kasimple ang catalyst. Catalyst process up for for a faster or higher rate of reaction. Okay? Hopefully, nakatulong po sa inyo ang video nito. At kung bago ka sa channel na ito, huwag mong kalimutang mag-subscribe at i-hit ang notification bell para updated lang sa mga susunod po video. Maraming pong salamat. Happy learning!